Um, that's one thing you can also get, like, when you start getting more comfortable, maybe with, like, calling or trying to figure out what to do. As, um, I, I think you were, you were probably watching my last game that I was just coaching. Oh, where I was talking about where everything, every play you make and every play you call comes down to, um economy and what your team can sustain so if you want to take that 3v3 for example you um or anytime you you're not sure if you want to take a fight you can ask your teammates like hey like what are your what's your total shield count you know like bats and cells if they have a lot then you can take the fight um if it's like a hard 3v3 if you need to but most of the time um especially if you're really really low on shit you should just take whatever's free in front of you i'd also get in the habit of calling absolutely everything you do you you're Cracking and doing a shit ton of damage to people. Sure, they're across the map and your team can't really do anything about it. It just gets you in the habit of being more vocal. One, th I, I, one thing I tell everyone is, what you, the things you want to calm is damage. One, there's four things you want to calm. Damage, armor, character. Um, and then the last thing I like to call generally behavior. But what that, that just means like, are they sitting somewhere? Are they moving somewhere? Um, like, so for example, here... I'd be like, and this is just, again, this, the damage calm here would do absolutely nothing in terms of your team, but it's a practice that you should get into. The more you practice calming literally fucking everything, the more fluid your fighting will be because it gives more info to your teammates. So it's just a good habit to get into. It's just a good practice. Just something that gives your team more info. Cause even if you're not the one calling the shots, if someone is calling the shots on your team, they are also going to want as much info as possible. Obviously, you're not going to do anything on this, right? There's absolutely nothing you can do here. But it's just something to get in the habit of doing. Uh, I tell everyone that you can be the worst fucking player in Apex. Um, and you can struggle to get better. I don't know, it's just, it's just not working for you. But one thing every player in the world can do is learn how to communicate. That is a skill that anyone can learn. And that's one of the most important skills to have as well. You know, I, there's... There's such a big gap between a tier one player and tier two, tier three, etc. So try to get in the habit of calming absolutely fucking everything. The more you communicate, the more people on your team have information to do stuff with. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's, it's, communication is a skill that anyone can learn.